ladies and gentlemen. Right. It's New Year's Eve, and, but there still is time to look deep within. Because <laughs> there is good news, there is bad news, and always, always, there is the other shit. El otro boo boo. <laughs> El otro boo boo. <laughs> Did you say el otro boo boo? <laughs> I have no idea what he said. El otro boo boo. El otro boo boo. Otro. El otro. 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 All right. Let's go to MarioHemsley.tv to get my visual aids. No bad news. No bad news. No bad news, man. Oh, come on. Okay, let's start with the best news. Okay, first of all, you guys realize that today, tonight, 1231, at 1 a.m., they're going to go marijuana crazy in Colorado That's and Washington. Right, it's been Don't smoke and drive because the big issue is what constitutes a level in your bloodstream that you can't drive. That's what they're talking about, very low levels to be, to be figured out. So be careful, people. Get designated drivers. But uh, remember this. Tonight in Colorado and Washington... Mac, they're going to go marijuana crazy about, you know, just having a big party because okay. it's now legal. It's now legal. Out. Let's see. Let's tell you what. Let's, I, I didn't do this because you know how I do wear my holo host deal. Let's go to YouTube where I was playing. And let's just see. Control all. Let's just search on YouTube New Year's Eve, Colorado. Colorado, Washington, and marijuana. Let's see if we search that because we want to know. I know up there where Mac is in Port Townsend, you know, they're talking about it. So they're saying, no, we, and let's filter this by, <laughs> the, the, let's filter this by this week. Max, videos from this week. Mac says he's going to the beach and chant. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? He's going to the beach to chant. Well, I, well, maybe for that, we can take some with you, some sandwiches. This is what damage some bread. alcohol and drugs. Oh, yeah, I know. That's the damage. This is your brain on drugs. This is your brain on usual sexual activity of a teenager. That's called health. That's wrong, <laughs> New Year's Day will bring a first to Colorado. Legal pot sales. It could be a combination of a Green Wednesday and a Black Friday. Hopefully the Black Friday behavior is mellow. Mellow in part, since there's a limited amount of shops and growers statewide that have cleared the legal hurdles to sell marijuana to anyone over 21. That has some worried that supply won't meet demand. That's, you know, something that can open the black market back. They're up. worried about supply happen. not While meeting demand. While pot remains illegal under federal law, Colorado's legalization has opened the doors for marijuana oh. geared businesses who are investing millions. The genie is out of the bottle, and I think it's going to be an exciting time over the next 24 to 48 months. At Dixie's Elixirs and Edibles, they're working on new adult use labels. Can Labs, one of three marijuana testing facilities in the state, is quadrupling its lab because of an impending explosion of business brought on by new testing requirements. To be and Andy Williams, Make sure a medicine man, clean of is more than doubling a 20,000 square foot growing facility shit. and adding retail space at a warehouse near the airport. We want to be the Costco of marijuana. One study estimates the number of medical marijuana That's users right, will jump six times overnight, not counting tourists. Not only is the world watching, but other states that are considering adopting similar rules are going to be watching too. Recreational marijuana sales in Washington State are set to begin this spring. Peter Go Banda, on, Mac. Associated Press, Denver. Mac, you need to look at the cost of that Rosso Classico. Really, Mac. And compare the cost and expenditures of the Rosso Classico versus some of that grand old Maui Wowie. You can get that down. <laughs> so my qu my question is, will will the will the real video celebration be in Times Square, New York, or in Colorado proper? Well, you, the, think about it now. If you're going to show something, can they trump New York? Well, you know what? That's what I thought. One of the things we could play tonight because we are so much going to like you know do things that are different, right? Right that I thought that that would be one of the things we could do. We could go take a look around. 
at the there'll be live postings oh, yeah. of cams and stuff going up, and we can maybe mix that in with music and video and comedy right. and everything. Just cool. anyway, remember in terms of programming tonight, I personally am taking an attitude of experimentation. So whatever you got, everybody does whatever they want in terms of suggestions, but I'll be prepared like we normally do to go on the desktop. But okay. I specifically myself am going to be doing on the fly looking for v people's video postings around the world. And we can mix that in with our live broadcast tonight, you guys. That I think it'll nice. be fun. That would be nice. I think I got a suggestion Different. that's even, you know, even almost okay. uh, on par with what Mario's going to do. I'm just going to bring in like three extra fine women, Playboy bunnies, oh. just to do some dancing to any songs you want. Work? Do you think you'll change your whole program for that? I will. They can stroke <laughs> the big man. They can stroke oh. the big man. Oh, oh. <laughs> All Look right. Out. TLC. I'm telling you, I got some news. I'm telling you, I got some news. Yes, what? you do. Yes, you do. Uh, what is this? I have some more. Onion ring chips. Okay, you guys. Well, this is part of one of my news items for the new year. I want you guys to be. We're going to change some things. We've been changing the way we eat. So I found this article. It's all about food products that are nothing about their name. In other words, whatever their name is, there's none of that in there. Let's start with number one, Wise Onion Rings. It has actually... No onions in it. <laughs> Absolutely no onions whatsoever. Oh, you see the look on my face? I yes. Like, uh, we're going to talk point? about these things. That's right. Oh okay. God. International Delight Gourmet Coffee Creamer says it's the case. It says it's the taste of buttery in your creamer. It has water, sugar, and palm oil. Oh Lord, it has tit. You know. No. no. <laughs> Oh, right. no, Mario. Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats Blueberries have absolutely no blueberries whatsoever. The picture the box contains pictures of blueberries, but there's no actual fruit. It contains whole grain wheat, sugar corn, and red and blue food coloring. So they might as well stick with the original orange box. A Kellogg's Consumer Affairs Specialist acknowledged the lack of blueberries, saying the cereal gets its flavor from a confidential and proprietary blend of natural and artificial flavors. Oh. How about this one? McCormick's Bacon Pieces. Bacon Pieces have no meat. They're a blend of soy flour, granola oil, salt, caramel color, maltodextrin, natural and artificial flavors, lactic acid, yeast extract, disodium inosinate, and disodium guanolate. <laughs> Red food dye. They, however, they are cholesterol free. And my one of my favorites... Because I was buying this. Mrs. Butterworth's original syrup. There's no butter nor maple syrup in this. <laughs> it's only high fructose corn syrup, water, salt, cellulose gum as a thickener, and molasses. <laughs> Whoa. Before generic. It's just Yeah, yeah, it's just crazy. How about Nabisco Oreos? Mm -mm. That white filling lacks milk, butter, eggs, or any other dairy component. When we asked a Kraft consumer rep what makes the filling in an Oreo, she said it was a trade secret. Oh. Oreos have about a dozen ingredients starting with sugar, flour, various vegetable oils, high fructose corn syrup, and cocoa. Mm. Chocolate is the last ingredient. That means it is the least. How many of you had Tang? That's right. Less than 2% natural flavor. I didn't know Tang was still around. I didn't either. It's nasty. It was nasty then. Nasty it's then, nasty, nasty now. now. Right. Sugar, right. fructose, and uh -huh. so you, you know why? Because my friend's mother kept it, and it was always there. She also had tab soda. If anybody remembers tab, the absolute worst tasting diet soda ever made. Mm. <laughs> okay, how about this? Tropical, tropical pizza topping. Looks and shreds like mozzarella. Mm -mm. Okay. The imitation has 20 ingredients started with water, partially hydrogenated soybean oil, powdered cellulose, casein, and of course the onion rings I told you have no onions in them. Cornstarch, tapioca starch, vegetable oil, four food colorings, four different food colorings, one of them blue. That's too much going on tonight. Okay, everybody. <laughs> so that's for the other oh my item. God. Even As Mac McAllister would say, fuck my diet. Okay, now, you guys, the what I'm saving for next week is they have a listing of the seven most offensive TV shows ever. I don't know 
Did anybody? There was a TV show in England about a black English aristocrat crack <laughs> who gets kidnapped and ends up as a slave to Abraham Lincoln, and it was a sitcom. Mm. <laughs> Can't remember. They had one where Hitler moves in next door to a family of Jews. Oh, <laughs> yes. oh I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. These were some of the worst. Some we're bummer. going to be covering that later. The most offensive TV Lord shows ever. Wow. But I thought this was perhaps even more offensive, and I had to get your take on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to see the new plus size Barbie. Wow. The blue, let me go back. Let me go back. The new plus size Barbie. Well, they need to do a, a, a regular, I like my thick, and plus size. Okay, here's the plus size Barbie. It's the new plus size Barbie, you guys. I'm going to try to blow it up. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. Okay, here she is. Dang, she got wrinkles in her chin. Okay, first of all, she's got three chins. One, two, three. <laughs> now, she wouldn't be so bad if they hadn't given her three chins. So, I want to get your opinion on the new plus size Barbie. I thought Mac might like it. Black. Wow. I said they need to do a thick Barbie Dan in between. This is a new Mac. Remember I did Curves. I, I did you guys Curves. I showed you guys the video Barbie with the camera between her breasts. No, I, I stick with the breasts. She's right there. Then we have the sweet talking Ken. <laughs> the sweet talking Ken right there, remember. You make a you you weren't here for that. And and Amico, we also now has the have the I'll get one. I'll get one of the plus size Barbies to have here I on the I gotta see that. The show. I mean, if they can have pregnant Barbie, they can have a plus size Barbie. So I just want you guys to see the new plus size Barbie. Wow. The, the, People the don't, chin. Huh? The chin. Uh, that's what I'm, I'm talking about. Uh, wow. Alien. <laughs> no, a, it don't look alien. Look you like know what alien. she, no, it don't. Here you go. No, just, you know what it reminds me of? The lady that was on Total Recall when he was dressed, he was dressed up. Arnold Schwarzenegger, he was dressed up and he was trying to undo it, and the head just came off. He took the head off, and it was that lady. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what kind of reminds me of. That's what are you trying to say? At the top, alien. That's a little biased. <laughs> Curl up with a plus size Barbie. Hey. Ooh, goodly, goodly. Well, she got motor, motor gear, motor love. Goodly, goodly. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys. Let me just see. I think that is. Let me just see. Oh. I mean, but she banging. She got her little pink on, just like homegirl. <laughs> You know, didn't Monique from the Parkers do that? Beyonce came out with her, um, was it Dangerous in Love or something like that? And then they did, they opened the show and Monique got all her plus size models and they was rocking too. You remember that? When they were dancing and they had no, all but blue? Let's just I, say, yeah, we've all danced with yeah, a few huh? big girls, haven't They were all, they were jamming though. How many? Yeah. Hey, I've had fat ones sweating. We were doing it. Wait a minute, Mario. You talk about me, Lord have mercy. I was, I was just. Hey. I had fat ones when we did, back oh, then. We God. didn't mind. I still had. Ladies, where you at? I still feel like I feel like I'm part of the fat community because you know I came up fat. I mean, I did lose forty five pounds in a few years back, but before that, you so once you fat and you fat that long, you kind of still have fat mentality. Oh. <laughs> So you feel think fat, even right. if you have a smaller body, you kind of have. Yeah. So when we we called our, ourselves fat, yeah. I used to say I'm fat. Yeah. Yeah. I even that's why I embrace my man tits today. Oh, okay. I'm used to it. So you F A T or P H? No, I'm just regular old fat. Oh, okay. I ain't know which one you're talking about. <laughs> Everybody. That's too much. Thank you for tuning in. Go get your plus size Barbie. Ooh. Get one for your friends. Of course, your girls might look at you a little funny. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>